If you're unfamiliar with Zoom or haven't used it before, we encourage you to watch this video while our communication minister, Christian Parrott, and I walk you through the process of downloading Zoom, installing it on your computer, and using it for the first time, and through the process of calling in if you don't have access to a computer. And we'll tell you a little bit about what you can expect when you log on for our Muhlenberg Lutheran Church congregational meeting. The first step that you'll want to take is downloading the Zoom app. Go to zoom.us forward slash download and follow the prompts for installation as you would with any downloaded program. If you can't download the app, you can always join by phone. Here's Pastor Alex to explain how. If you don't have access to a computer or to reliable internet, you can still join our congregational meeting by using your phone and calling in to Zoom. Simply enter the phone number listed on our website. Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. The meeting ID is listed on our website as well. Enter your participant ID followed by pound. Otherwise, just press pound to continue. At this step, you don't need to enter anything. Simply hit pound. To join the meeting using Zoom, click the meeting link and then follow the prompts to run Zoom, and then wait for the meeting host to let you in. If for some reason Zoom doesn't open, you can always open Zoom manually. Select Join a Meeting, and then enter the 11-digit meeting code, which for this meeting is 847-3141-6878. You can also take this opportunity to edit your name so that if more than one person is attending the meeting on your end, the host will know. Also, please note that there's no passcode required for this meeting. Once you've connected to the meeting, you'll need to select Join with Video. You'll then be placed into a waiting room until the host lets you in. When the host lets you in, you'll need to select Join using Computer Audio, and then that's a good time to edit your screen name if necessary. Please make sure that your audio is muted until you're asked to unmute. 